Hi there, girlfriends. How are you doing? So as you can see, I've broken a golf ball. Now it's definitely not because I hit it too hard. That I can assure you. Did I miss hit it? Potentially. But it got me thinking, what's actually inside golf balls? And is there such thing as a terrible golf ball? So let's take a look. Up first, just got a bog standard range ball that I found. found. You can see, just got the, got the case in, and then inside it, whatever that material is, inside it. Compare that to a Titleist Tour Distance. Let's call that a medium standard or a standard ball. We'll have a look at a premium ball in a second. So this standard ball, you can see, it wasn't mine, I found it, somebody else's initials. Who buys golf balls? Lose every other hole. Tour distance, standard casing, and we've got this like rubber band. Just multiple loops of a rubber band. And then finally, if we take a look, a premium golf ball, Pro V, obviously found that. I'm not spending money on that when I'm losing every other hole. Inside, you've got the case in, and then you've got those two, well, three, sorry, you've got like a glue type material in between the casing and the rubber on the inside, and then a different type of rubber. What's going on? What does that make it do? Anyway, golf fans, my tip, lose your tee shot in the rough, find three other balls and move on. I hope you've enjoyed that golf fans, something a little different, just a little look at terrible golf balls. I hope you've enjoyed that golf fans, just a short little video on golf balls and, well, terrible golf balls, what's the difference? I don't know. Either way, you slice it and it goes in the trees. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Plenty more vlogs coming on the course. And remember, always shout.